Hi everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. So here I have searched on Google Nano Flower. Look at the results that I've got. You can see very nice electromicroscopy images of different shaped nano flowers. So in this example, we will start our journey with Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator is a vector drawing tool using which we can create any kind of 2D vector drawings. So we use Blender for creating 3D illustrations. But along the way, we will learn gradually how to use Adobe Illustrator and how to create specific examples. So here I can see many examples. Look at this one. This looks like, you know, a small flower, like, you know, so much of beads and so on. So I'll open Adobe Illustrator and let's learn how to create this specific example. On the left side, you can see rectangle tool. Click and hold there and you will see star. So if you are using the latest version of Adobe Illustrator, it will be a little easier to draw a star. When I'm drawing a star, this is how it will come. So after drawing the star, you will find a dot inside the star, a slider outside the star. You can see a dot here as well. So using which you can control all the properties of the star. First, number of teeth that you have on the star. If you move the slider, you can increase and decrease. And using this dot you can increase its inner radius using this dot you can adjust its outer radius so if you are using earlier version of adobe illustrator these options will not be there so in that case while you are drawing don't release the mouse keep holding control and use up and down arrows to increase the number of teeth on the star and if you hold control and move the mouse you can adjust, you know, its inner and outer radius like this. Okay, so I'll keep it like this. Or you can simply hold Alt and click inside the canvas. This window will open. So I have now 20 points and this is how it looks like. So we need one star and we will go to window and choose gradient. We have a gradient box here and use this circular gradient and inside this we need to use a gradient for the fill color make sure that it is circular gradient so i'll click on the stroke color and i'll deactivate that we don't want any outline color for this one okay so now we will duplicate this before that i will adjust its uh, fill color the gradient here double click on this dot and this color window will open choose a light color and move this slider like this and you can adjust this diamond so that accordingly gradient will adjust and now we need to duplicate this select this press ctrl c ctrl v and move it outside and for this one we will move this slider towards left and we will move this also towards inner side we need lighter color more here so i'll hold shift and reduce its size quite a lot like that and i will keep it here now we will select both on the top i will click on horizontal align and i will click on vertical align so that the smaller one is exactly at the center now i will select both of them and i will go to object blend now what is happening we have two stars right both of them are blending so to give you an idea, let me show you blending on other two objects. So click here, I'll draw a rectangle. So I'll simply replace its color with a simple black color on the outline. And I will draw a circle and I will keep it here. I'll select both of these, go to object, blend, make. Now you can see what is happening. It will add more shapes in between these two shapes and both of them will blend. So now this rectangle is slowly converting into a circle. Similarly, here we have duplicated two stars. The outer star is getting blended in with the star inside. I hope the idea is clear. So now go to effect, distort and transform and click on tweak. Now our nano flower is ready. You can make it more appealing. Move the horizontal and vertical values to get a look that you would like to get. So I'll keep it lower for now, somewhere near 10 for both. Make both 
same for best output and choose relative and click on ok now that's how you create a nano flower and you can adjust the colors again even after making the flower select the nano flower double click on the bigger star and make sure that the fill color is selected here and now you can move the color and see how it performs here choose a color that you are happy with one color should be light one color should be dark to get you know this result and i'll zoom in select the inner star double click on that and here also i'll adjust the color a little bit okay that's how you create a nano flower this method you can apply for you know nano shaped roads which has you know this hairy surface representation how to do that instead of changing the sizes of the stars create two stars of the same size for example i created this one i'll duplicate ctrl c ctrl v and i will keep one here and i'll select both go to object blend make now you can apply effect go to effect distort and transform tweak now look at that it looks like a road and you can click ok so here you can see we have created a nano road right you can reduce its size and show in your figures hope you like this tutorial so you can expect many more tutorials on interesting ideas we will cover all the basics of the tools as well so see you in the next tutorial